Sailing was what we were supposed to be doing out here on the ocean. Sometimes life just doesn't work out the way you want it to work out when you want it to work out that way. In, in Mammoth for a bit longer than we had expected. Yeah, we we were all set, did an incredible amount of work on getting the boat ready and kind of had our jobs planned out to where we would be able to uh, this year leave for about four or five months and, and uh, right when we were heading to the last phase here at Christmas, um, one of the key personnel um, gave notice, which completely <laughs> threw a wrench into yeah. our plans. The, uh, the the Christmas holiday was stressful enough, um, but uh, we're learning some patience, struggling with it, but we're learning some patience, and. Uh, we're, we've got some other ideas of some things that we may be doing, depending on how uh, how the, this uh, new staff that we hired um, does with their training and picking it all up and taking control. And uh, so we'll yeah. see what's going to be in store for us. We're not really sure exactly just yet. Yeah, we don't think that we our plan was to go to Baja, um, spend it down the Sea of Cortez um, and then come back in May. But it, it's it, when we sit down and look at what we would have to do because we also had to invest in a, like a ten thousand uh, dollar VSAT system to be able to continue working and if it was been five or six months it would have been worth it for us to do it just to get started but um, considering when we're looking at it now it's only you know maybe three months at most and that means you know three weeks say three weeks down and then three weeks back and if we wouldn't it just wouldn't wouldn't be worth it so we're we're still going to do some some bigger sailing here when the weather gets better off the coast here um uh but because we kind of are probably going to have to be back and forth between our work and in training uh our replacements basically that uh we're gonna be look more land yeah. exploration yeah, we're gonna go such out, as here <laughs> and go out and you know start you know transitioning this life from this one of kind of chaotic work that we've been doing over especially the last four years and and starting to get out and uh, uh and let go of some of that stress and you know get back to a semblance of who we were prior to working in the yeah. hospitality industry. <laughs> it's horrible to say that, but I think there, there's, it, and, and you know, it's funny because it seems like it's with most people that we meet that have transitioned out of being in management, operational management of a hotel, that they've all reached, kind of reach a point where they're like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. I've never heard one say yeah. they're going to go back to it. So, I mean, that's, yeah. that's a statement yeah. for the hotel yeah. industry, the hospitality yeah. industry that, the environment's been created to be that way, but you know, it, it, yeah. it is what it is. And it, and, and it served us very well over the years. You know, we, we, it's, it's enabled us to do things that we probably wouldn't have been able to do financially and time wise. Yeah. So it's been good. It's just, it's, it's now time to move on and yeah. do something with less responsibility and less interaction, direct interaction with ugly people exactly since <laughs> since since that day basically happened when we had to basically turn around cut our plans and come back up to the mountains we actually haven't had a day off till today and we're out here yeah. um, 
Eureka. behind us, Eureka Sand Dunes out in Death yeah. Valley. And yeah, pretty spectacular. Yeah, and just needed to get away and get some, some quiet. Just had a fighter jet fly over us. Yeah. <laughs> but um, as we move into this, we're going to start the process of sharing more and uh, we're gonna see how it all goes it's it's an experiment for us yeah yeah I think I think I mean I guess everybody's situation is is different when they try to make big transitions you know but I think it's unrealistic to think that there's not setbacks that come into play when you're making such a big transition in life you know, that you got to just, okay, move on with this one and then we'll move on and move, change our direction and, you know, just keep going. Persistence. Got to be a point, though, where you throw the lines. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying is that you, you don't, you have to make sure you don't forget your goal. You don't forget your, your point. It just may take a few more steps to get there. You just got to keep, keep. Stubborn in your case. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's what's up. <laughs> yep. A day's like today, this was really nice. Yeah. Fun, fun exploration, really fun photography, with the shadows of the dunes. And there really are quite big, dramatic dunes, which is pretty cool. And uh, we just need to have more days like this to balance out everything else. Right. Yeah. All right. On to the next adventure. Mm -hmm. <laughs>